This is Creeper Man Joe. He's a little bit shy because he's in the sunlight and I just paralyzed him. So what I have to do first is close the roof so he can start moving and attacking me. And who knows what he'll do with this TNT in his hand. Okay, so the real reason why I had to do that is because he's going to start teleporting around and I cannot have that happen while I showcase what I've created here. So this is from a Reddit post on my subreddit r slash phoenixsc by the Epic Dog Man, and he titled his post All Man. For Creeper Man, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, today's video was not supposed to be this, it was supposed to be something else, but there have been some technical complications, so that will have to wait a couple of days, but if you like mathematics, you will like that video. Okay, now you can move around, Creeper Man Joe. This is um created from the live stream. He's so skinny. Um, this was created in the live stream last week, and I'm really proud of what I did because this also uses some mathematics, even if you don't think it will. So I've made everything uh, bedrock so he will not have to destroy terrain. So let's see what happens when I go into survival mode here. Whoa, that was fun. Okay, so the reason why it uses math is because I have to calculate uh, the distance between me and him and the direction he should be facing. He's actually going to kill himself if he keeps doing that. I can make him suicide just by running towards him. Because um, he acts like a normal creep. Oh, God. Resistance. So I don't die. So I'm going to summon another ender creeper here. Okay, so how this is working is that he is a mixture of an enderman and a creeper. So the best way I thought I could mesh those two ideas together is one, he has to hold TNT. And two, he's going to start flinging them towards me. Except he's not really flinging them, he's just teleporting them towards me. Like that. Now of course TNT is deadly, so he's gonna have to throw them away from me. The thing is, if I want to trigger its creeper behavior, which is run towards you, explode, I just need to run towards him. And he'll explode. Like that. He's gonna die, but of course I have resistance, so I'm not gonna die. So, this uses a lot of different mechanics. Very similar to my Vlem Glem video, uh, Iron Golem Villager. This is Creeper Man Joe, and the astounding number of people that decided that, hey, I want Creeper Man Joe on a t-shirt that I can wear and buy from Phoenix SC is completely unbelievable. I mean, no one wants to be called Creeper Man Joe. I'm sorry if your name is Creeper Man Joe. I, I want to send you a cookie. Okay, so how this works is very simple. One, I... <laughs> I've also seen memes where like people are saying, oh, this is so simple. Builders make it so easy. So this is not supposed to be that easy, but I know, I think it's easy. Um, I'm grabbing the position of me and the Enderman Creeper, Creeper Man Joe, um, and I'm calculating the motion that the TNT block or entity should take to land where I am. You can see that the TNT lands almost directly underneath me. It's not really at me right now because I'm flying. So that's why the TNT passes me a little bit. It's sometimes going to take a random trajectory because he's moving around. But he sometimes teleports to me and explodes. Uh, that's the second thing that I'm doing. Uh, I'm detecting the position of him and if he's near me, he's going to explode like that. And so he's a suicidal enderman. <laughs> Haven't I done that before? Which has been a very popular video for some reason. Anyway. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content and Creeper Man Joes. I don't know. It seems like you guys want me to make a Creeper Man Joe t-shirt and I don't know how I should feel about that. All power to him. I guess I should say that because if I don't, he's going to run towards me and do whatever he wants. Take care.